When it comes to protecting her family's credit, Megan is on top of it. She keeps an eye on things with an identity theft protection service. And is quick to get the mail when it arrives. But even as proactive as she is, Megan recently became a victim of identity theft. My husband and I received alerts from LifeLock, um, which is an identity theft service. Accounts have been opened in my name and his name at AT&T. Then another alert. More phones were bought, this time from another cell company. But it became more suspicious when Megan found a sticky note on her door. It said, please leave packages at the front door, Kylie and Megan. Neither she nor her husband had left it. About an hour and 15 minutes later, UPS, or FedEx shows up. And FedEx came to the door with packages. And the guy said, the delivery guy said, I have phones for you. <laughs> and that's when I knew. I said, someone wrote a sticky note acting like they were us. Tulsa police say they've seen a couple cases similar to Megan's. The crooks order the goods and then come pick them up right from your front door. But there are many examples of identity theft out there. I would have to say that that identity theft probably is increasing because the criminals have figured out that this is an easy way to make money. Our partners at Scripps Tower News Service investigated 1.4 million identity theft complaints made to the Federal Trade Commission and broke down the areas around Tulsa with the most complaints filed over a five-year period. Those living in zip code 74133 topped the list with 191 complaints. Meanwhile, 74012, along with zip code 74136, came in second and third highest. For the Tulsa area, complaints regarding credit cards and employment were the highest. Again, those were only the complaints, though. It's estimated millions of cases go unreported every year. But there are some things you can do to protect yourself. In most instances, there really isn't a reason for a person to carry their social security card around with them from day to day. Same thing with credit cards. Also, check your credit report. And you may want to consider subscribing to an identity theft protection service. As for Megan, she, along with her neighbors, devised a plan. She put out fake packages, closed her garage door, and within minutes, she says the crooks showed up. The perpetrators actually got out of the car that and they were going to get ready to come get the packages and that's when my neighbor got their attention and tried to stop them and ended up chasing them for a while. Megan got the make, model and tag number of the car and hopes it helps nab the bad guys. My children weren't home that day but if they had opened the door at the same time or if I had opened the door at the same time that these people walked up, what would have happened? She also hopes we can all learn something from what happened to her. Marla Carter, 2 Newsworks for you.